Okie doke everyone How you all doing? So today we're here At our local spot we review our course To do the test drive of the Raptor Just coming here because now this is like all dried So normally the water is all the way to the top over there See all the way to the top Look how empty it is right now And uh, never seen like massive like dips into the ground you know ditches from the water looks like a cave but it's not it's just normally where the water is like pushes into it and comes out you know actually quite a cool sight over there can't really zoom it down there because they've got this branch on right in front of us but just got to get out of here without falling Yep. Pretty cool. You now when you see these parts where normally there's water and uh, now there's nothing. It's pretty cool, eh? Interesting. Yes indeed. I'm gonna to investigate a little bit more. Look at all this. These are all like the tree roots. Normally it's like all under water. Never seen this with so little water. Look at that, you see? How the water just keeps on caving. <laughs> and that's like all dried up, so you can see. Think there's any crystals or anything like that? No. All looks like um, normal rocks, eh? But you know what? I think this got like something fell here, hey, because the water's getting stuck somewhere, hey. Do you think it like Probably trees. Trees are falling, hey. Yeah. Look at this one. It's becoming like a dam, little dams. Look at this. Look at this yeah. Look at this spiky tree. Wow. Spiky. Eh? It's full of thorns, hey. My, yeah, put my hand on it. Where's your there. hand? My hand's here. Oh there. Look at the spiky. Yep, let me zoom. How spiky there is. I'm eh? <laughs> always getting the tree. <laughs> Let me see if I can focus manually. Wait, oh, there you go. Like yep. Spike, yeah? yeah, that's bad. Yeah. That's from the tree. Yeah, from the tree. Wow. Spike, eh? Person just gets lost when you walk in the forest, though. You just like get so carried away. It's just very enjoyable, you know? It's a lot of fun. I would like to like investigate right there, I mean. That looks very, very cool. But. Can't get my shoes dirty and then go to the Raptor. So maybe then I'll put some boots on on another time and we'll go investigate these little um, mini caves. Actually, quite cool, you know. Who knows what you can find like stuck there, you know? That's cool. Okay, so let's go drive the Raptor. Hey? Where? Here it's dry. Here it's dry. Is it all dried up, the trees here? Yeah. I think it's gonna break. I think it's gonna crack. Think it's gonna break? Okay, go. Yep. Okay. Why are they so dried up, the tree? This, was, this is dead, this tree. No, it's not dead. No, this one is dead. There's no one leaf on it. It is dead, this one. That's why they're falling, you see? For some reason, they die in the trees, some of them, eh? It's weird. What is going on? See, all that is like dead. So, I think it was too dry this time. I mean, normally, it's like I said, this is all full of water. So, the fact that it doesn't have so much water is um, drying up the trees. And that's why they're so, so dried up and like dying, you know? That's a weird looking rock right there. It's like a perfect shape. That is weird. I thought it was cut. Frogs jumping. 
Reminds me of like this Lord of the Rings, like this last series where the orcs like are hiding away beneath the ground. <laughs> oh man, I guess that's why I wanted to check it out, you know. Pretty cool. A lot of rocks. But I don't see like any interesting rocks like quartz or anything I can just look at and say that's interesting, you know. But I see is a lot of dirty puddles. But that rock is quite interesting. It's such in you know, a like rectangle shape. You never know how long these rocks have been here, eh? Very interesting. Okie dokie everyone. So here we are at our famous location. Famous for us. <laughs> yeah, just hide away there. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. It's my dad there. At our very old church. Yep. Need some tiles over there. And uh, we're gonna go back through that way there. Um, to be a bit different. So yeah, just chilling here. This we were gonna bring the four x four, the UMM, but. I have to finish putting the rubbers on the doors. I'm still waiting for the rubbers to come, so unfortunately, did not work out. And um, yep, just chilling here. So I already did a review on the Ford Raptor, so I don't have to be talking about it again. But uh, yeah, just get a, have a, it has a different look when you're out in the nature, you know, um, next to the forest. It's like belongs here. It's in its natural element. <laughs> so yes. It's a raptor, it's got to be like, you know, free in the wild. <laughs> I just want to thank you all very much for the massive amount of subscribers. Last time I saw 2,100 and something. 2,000 and... Yes, 2,100 and something. Come on, from the last video. Wow, amazing. So thank you very much, yes, with this channel um whatever else you guys want me to like do so i'm also going to do some like techno electricians electronical um knowledge stuff um also electrician as well but that i'm going to keep for a later time so because i'm working on that machine project i'm going to like teach you guys how to like measure you see if a switch is good or bad Talk about the three phase, monophase, uh, hydraulic motor pumps, three phase motor pumps. Um, uh, see what's, what, how can you change the direction of the motor and everything else. So, some only the simple, like cool, interesting stuff. Like, I won't go like complete crazy on it, just like things that normally people ask me, how do you do this or that? Like, for me, it's simple, but for them, they don't know. So I'm just gonna like resume like maybe four or five topics just like show you what the multimeter and uh, tools just like do this do that end of story you know so very simple not boring and uh, so we're gonna now take it out because I haven't did the review on the how it drives the test drive on this pickup so I got my dad to come with me so that I can film um, while he's driving and I can talk a bit about it you know. So yes, beautiful car, beautiful car indeed. This is all green and nice, but all that's behind it in one year burnt the whole thing once. That was also quite scary, but thank God the rain came, everything's damped, everything's humid, everything's wet, so it will be hard even for those who want to try and catch fire on purpose to do it so yes good thing your life is difficult <laughs> okay um now let's go let me just show because we got so many more subscribers i don't know if everyone's going to go watch the previous videos so yes our location is this 1611 that is quite old yeah. 40 413 years old very old. You can even see like the steel bars. Check this out. 
look at that. Now, people come here normally. There was a couple here, actually, and a family. So they put some candles, do their prayers. Um, so, yes. I look at this more like a monument. Because it's actually quite old indeed. It's actually a light there at the bottom. Must be a hole in the ceiling. I think. Maybe it's just shining upon something. See there? Oh, sorry. I can't zoom in this mode. You see that light right down there? So that must be from a hole in the ceiling or from the sideways. So, very, very old. So people used to walk like all the way here. It's still quite far for people to walk and all through that road, dirt road, right there. Let me see if I can pass somewhere else, yes. Right there. Um, that's like half an hour walk. So they used to come here to this church before. But yep, looks really like almost medieval times. <laughs> There's like a little man there, down there, and uh, I think it's a woman down there, and then I can't really recognize there, I'd have to zoom, let me get another view, yep, there you go, see, so there's like a man there, and then there's like a woman there, and at the bottom, not quite sure, can't identify it, but A table there and it's like no windows no anything I don't know where that light comes from it's like a perfect little circle I can't see a hole from the top either it's reflecting from somewhere or tile but it's all wood on top so I'm not quite sure where that light comes from very curious Sometimes the little tiniest hole will be like a big light on the floor because it's also very dark so you can see with a lot of detail. Even the chairs are like quite old. They remind me of the school chairs in the olden days. Quite an echo as well. But the windows for me are like interesting because it looks like pirate time. <laughs> no glass windows, no anything old wooden door and uh, that's it all stone inside here it's all made of stone the church actually it looks the white paint is just superficial because the walls you, as you can see it's this thick uh, stones and that's like you can see my one hand here so it's like one, two, three, four. Four hands. Oh, and you got this old, very old water basin. Yeah, you see? For like holy water, I guess they used to put. Very old, like, pillow right there. And all writing right at the bottom so the more you look the more details you can see and still I don't know where that light comes from they have put in some like steel reinforcements inside at the ceiling there two steel bars or tubes maybe just to reinforce something or maybe they were hanging something um, curtains or something I'm not quite sure yeah okay just for those who haven't seen it probably, you know. Okie dokie. Yes, it does look a bit spooky. Because it's like all, like nothing. I mean, the windows are all open and you don't even see, it's not even dirty inside. I mean, it's like very clean. <laughs> so maybe someone comes here now and then to like clean it up. I'm not sure. But it does, it's never dirty inside. It is strange, no windows. So yep. But it's only looks spooky because it's old, you know, and it's like no one's here, so it's all an illusion. Okay, dokie, everyone, let's get to it. 
So let's get into the Raptor. Okay, so here it says there's a fountain, eh? Okay. We wanted to show you this to you guys. We were going to come with the Jeep, but we came with the Raptor. Ah, uh, sorry, Cavalry. Can you see? Where you going? Oh, okay. Just in case somebody comes. That's good. Okay. It's cool because with the camera it's much easier to reverse. You can, you can, uh, you can actually uh, see the there. Oh, there's like a fountain there. Yeah. I don't know. I've never seen the fountain before, guys, so that's actually new. Let's check it out. So another, see, there's our car review location. Look at that. Used to be an old house there, and that's like ruins. It's an old house. It actually looks um, looks different from far away. I've never seen it from here. <laughs> this is also new for me. Come here so many times to review cars and everything, and then. Fountain of peace. Fountain of quietness. Peace. Quietness. Okay. Is this like new this stick that they put? This uh, someone's been planting flowers here yeah, because that's not from natural. Those pl these plants aren't natural. And uh, what? Why is there? To sit, probably. Oh, to sit down, they made this chair with a tile. Okay, I didn't. What? Yeah. There's a seat, there's a fountain, and there's some, there's some uh, mugs there. Someone's like building something, trying to there's build us up. There. This fountain comes from the hill, so the water can't be polluted. But I don't know where it comes from. I'm like shocked because I've never hey. seen this. I know you guys told me there's a fountain there. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, must hey, now there's some mugs there always. And there's a, a, a fountain dripping water from the hill. Okay. It's definitely from the hill because there's nothing else here. There's nothing else here. Nothing. Right. Yeah, there's absolutely nothing here. There's not a... a there's not a river. Not a there's not nothing. a... This isn't from the river there. No, no. This is like there's a... Nothing. What do you call oh, it? It's yeah. a natural come, spring. Come up here. It's, it's right. a spring. Come, come up here. You'll yeah, see. I'll go just now. It's a natural spring then. I don't know. Yeah, it's a spring. So this comes from the, must come from like that mount over there. Natural spring. So people, they leave these two cups here. They leave, these, they leave those mugs all the time. Two mugs here. They're always there. To, for whoever wants to drink <laughs> from the natural spring, can drink. Um, you can come here, up here. And he has the outlet of the water. But that's very like shame. It doesn't have a lot of. Maybe in winter will have more no, water. There's normally more water. Oh, there is no. no okay, that's interesting. So someone's building like a little chair here. And they've been putting some flowers here. Have you noticed? Yes, they they planted some flowers there. But is this like oh, private? You see, you see no water here. Will this be like private property? Okay. It's all dry, eh? So there's no uh, streams here. Over there, no stream. Point they there. just, oh, they just do this so that's when rain comes, it doesn't fill this up with water. You, you see, there's yeah. no stream here. So no, this is you, just you, like. Um, don't blame this. You, don't, you, you, can't blame, you can't blame that water on the stream. There's no stream, eh? So no. That comes from underground. This is just so that sure. the rain doesn't flood the yeah. little hole that they did there. But that, that stream is. Comes from that little mount there. Yeah. That stream is not from the uh, no. a stream here, that, that, that water. That water comes from the mountain itself. Huh? So what happened is someone found out that there's a natural spring. They must have, you know what happened? They were cutting the trees, they must have digged a hole. And then someone found that water is coming out through there. They must have investigated, they saw it wasn't from the river, because that water is dirty, right? It's not uh, drinkable. And then they decided to make a spring because they saw this is a natural spring. So they were like... <laughs> Okay, let's make a natural spring here. <laughs> and now they're making this like a... Uh... It's become like a... Uh... <laughs> I 
Okay. An important thing here. Well, it's not normal to see this, okay? So... I don't know. They really I mean, like trying to get it like in... Now listen, why don't you drink some of that water? But it's very cool, Come like, ahead. look at the chair. We've got some tiles for you to put your back against. Um, so they're just getting like left. They're yeah, trying, they're trying to do something. This water, man. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm gonna drink it out of a cup. It's cold, very cold. Water. Yeah. Fine. Is it? Check the water. It's cold, man. Eh? Very cold water. Very cold. It's not hot water. Very cold. No. Okay. <laughs> Let me just. Um... Yeah, it has no smells, no nothing. No, yeah. Fine. Looks, sounds, looks fine. Smells Does fine. it taste like? Tastes, tastes okay. Eh? Let me just see. Okay, I'm just oh, gonna. Taste it. Tastes fine. It actually fine. does, yeah. Tastes fine. It is a natural yeah, spring. Okay, dog, everyone. So that's an adventure for you guys. <laughs> this is like the weirdest bench I've ever seen in my life. Uh. And, there's, and, then there's, and there's flowers, yeah? Flowers? And there's flowers? Okay. The, the, well, what do you call these? The uh, daisies, huh? Daisies. I guess so. <laughs> okay. Very good. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, so okay, well, let's go on. up now. We've never been on like dirt roads like this with this pickup. It's actually hurting our emotions. Not even with a Jeep. Oh yeah, but the Jeep we've done off road many times. We've never been on this one. No, on this one no. We were going to come with the Jeep so that we would never like scratch the tires on the Raptor. <laughs> But um, it's actually. Well, let's see where it goes. Huh? Okay. Now it turns to the left. Oh, with this pickup, you don't have to boot like 4x4 or nothing. Even with the Jeep now, with the new differential ARB lock. Um, it's like completely different, it's all new condition, differential, everything, you know, so. Wow, now we're getting, oh, no, it's quite tight. That's why there's that natural spring there, eh? Yeah, it's tight. Yeah, it is quite tight over here. It is quite tight. Alright, let me get this versus so much noise over here. A bit this low. You want that low or? Why not high? It's less noise. It's quite high, yeah. This it is high. very high. That's why they got the spring running it's down. Spring running, there you go. There's oh, another yeah. trail there. The ones to you walk. walk. Okay. Yeah. Well, we you cannot here. scratch the paint. No. I'll try not to. Yeah, that one. Go okay. Well, well, it's you want to take this one out of the way? This one, uh, better. Yeah, better. Maybe you should. This is our baby. <laughs> that is not a good one over there. Okay. Let's see. I know most of you must be thinking like, oh, why do you want a Raptor if you don't even... Well, I want a Raptor because I want a Raptor, you know. <laughs> okay, you can go. Just like that. Now continue forward. Okay. Wow, look at that. You see? Can you see all that is burnt from the fires? Can you see the right from down there the mountain? Let me get another view. So yes, yeah, see? All that's right there. That was all the fire. So I started right down there on those mountains, right down there. And then came all the way with the wind blowing into the more populated zones. 
and all the way to this zone here, all the way down to the beach. So that was no game. Just for you guys to see the vast area that burnt down. I mean, look how much nature, animals, and people that were in between one forest and the other forest. All that. Then our roads, houses, buildings, towns, in between those two. You can't see it from here. Crazy guys. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so let me see. Oh, oh. Wait. Wait, must I get this out? Wait. If it hits, you can't hit, eh? Wait, wait, wait. Good, no, wait. Let me get it. I'll get it out, wait. Really I'll get out mm -hmm. just to see you. Yeah. Go back mm -hmm. and let it go down, but on neutral. Okay. okay. Let me just see here. Yeah. I'll tell you. Yeah, this is I'll just push it to the top. Okay, go now. Yeah. I think it w was going to hit, so it's not worth the risk. <laughs> You know, how to do off-roads and not letting nothing touch the pickup. That's a challenge. <laughs> oh man, people that know me are going to laugh. They really make fun of me. <laughs> how to go off-road without anything touching the pickup, eh? Yeah, <laughs> the most sensitive 4x4 ever. <laughs> <laughs> that on YouTube. <laughs> hey, gotta say kill this thing. This is only for the tar road, okay? Okay. It's new, it's about 2000 kilometers. I know, 2000 kilometers. I never it's thought you'd take it out, out on the okay. dirt roads. They bring many fish. Quite, quite stressing. <laughs> That's stressy indeed. These yeah, trees are not going to last very long here. Yeah. This is going to heat the thing. Okay. Another this tree. Like, I think we're almost finished like, because <laughs> this is like. Um... <coughs> but you know, even with the Jeep, I don't know if I can let it scratch the paint oh, now. Eh? <laughs> I don't think I can with the UMM 4x4. Okay, let's hold this back right here. Oh, wait, wait. I think I'll catch this one as well. Yep. Catch both of them. There you go. Pass. It's actually even broken the hand. Interesting. Oh man, he went really forward. Do some exercise. And I need to cut my hair. Bobber is still on holiday, so. Oh, road. I mean, they didn't scratch the car. Yep. This is going to give like a whole full video. What is this? Right, I don't think anything. Not okay. Oh, maybe left and then right, yeah. Okay. Okay, right. I don't know if you meant this right or this right, yeah. This one right. Yeah. Okay, go right here, this is the other way. To our right. Okay, yeah. Go there and see what happens. Okay. On that side there, there's not going to be. That side, there's not much. There's no. only houses. I think it's like a dead end. These houses have had problems with the, with the fire. <coughs> yeah. They have big problems with the fire, these guys. They had to fight them. Yes. They had to fight the fire, yeah. It wasn't easy. Oh. So cats survived. About the car. The driving, so... I mean, off-road, it's just like driving on a tar road. You don't feel nothing, eh? No. It's, it's like very, nothing. No, it and on the tar road, it's very, actually, very, very comfortable. comfortable. It's like driving an SUV. Yeah. So, um... I never drove like the wild track on the tar road, but I'm going to see if I can get um, 
person with the wall check that I reviewed the last time, with this one. I'm gonna see if um, if I can get him to go on the same road here, and then on this road here, and maybe we can compare. So, yeah, now we go back. And um, I mean, noise-wise, you don't hear much. Very quiet in here in the cabin. Um, on the tow roads, you will feel like little imperfections sometimes because the suspension is like a bit harder on the harder side. You know, so it has to be so they can like sustain all that craziness they do with it. Not serious bumps. But it's not serious. Like sometimes it's the smallest things hey, that you feel yeah. more than the little bumps. Yeah, big bumps you don't feel, but yeah. small or like vibration, you know, yeah. you can feel a little bit that. Also the tires also. Uh, allow for you to uh, feel that a bit, yes. On the, yeah, so the fire is okay to this side. But the UMM, you actually feel um, more the big bumps than the small. Yes. On the UMM. It's got a softer suspension, yes. I think. Softer. Um, but it's not like this adjustable, everything. We, don't, we have it in normal mode. If you put it like in proper um, different modes, then yeah. of course, then it's when you got the buyers, you have the sports. Um, then it's going to be completely different. Um, and otherwise, I mean, the gearbox is very easy. Yeah. You don't hear the gears like always no. changing and irritating. I don't feel that. I think if you like stop pressing always the accelerator too hard, then you might feel it a bit. So, space wise, it's very, very good. Space wise. Um, seats in the front and at the back excellent although we only have three seats in this car because it's uh, conversion it's um, legalized for uh, yes converted for commercial for tech purpose um it's a five seat originally yes and then you can change the five seats yeah, again sure. after four five years five years, five years. That's why the caddy is reaching five years, already did it five years. Yeah. So we think of transforming the caddy into maybe a five seater home. Yes. Um, yes. And then later on, let's see what type of cars come out later on. Maybe they'll start coming out with hydrogen vans or something like that. And then we can change that van for maybe something much more modern. Um, because the other vans are just going to be like the same as that one. More modern. Bit more tech, same engine, but um, you know, I don't know if it's going to be worth it now. I'm just going to wait another year just to see what goes on next year. Let's see what comes out. Um, what else can we say about the pickup? It's about it, isn't it? Comfortable. comfortable, goes well. Is it worth it? Definitely. Yes. Um, excellent choice. And you end up like loving it so much that you just want to like keep it in the garage and go to just yes or no right on the Taurus <laughs> so that you don't scratch your little baby <laughs> okay everyone so let's pause to the next segment of this video okay okay guys so you see um so now we this is a so you buy this the stairs already come with um, okay so the stairs come separate from this plate and this plate allows you so that you can fold the stairs upwards and back inwards. in and inwards. It's inwards upwards and inwards so that it stays here on the Locked. on the bed of the trunk okay and then you have to is make in a, like we're gonna have to make like a steel plate yeah. or aluminium plate adaption so that we get this screw over here then we're gonna have to get is there another screw beneath that yes another one over there yeah. and yes. another one right here you don't have anyone else another screw no. underneath your hand hey no no so it's one two three so we have to get these three screws with a, a aluminium plate just to hold this because we aren't going to make holes in the no. on the plastic cover or anything. directly yeah. yes we're going to get it here we're going to have to make like some pillars yeah 
to get up to the height of this this um, the, other one, yeah. the plastic that one's there Yes, the plastic cover. We're gonna to have to put a, some pillar support to bring the hardness up. And um, so this is has to, this is made. I think it's made to go more in. Maybe. So because it's got like these little legs right here. Maybe it can go more in. I think it's probably like what, like over here. Or so you right got here. steel. You got some. This is all steel, but you got some rubber paddings on the feet. Yeah, this flip, all flip over. Yes. But I don't know if it's better like this or what we would, because this rotates, so you can either put it on the side yeah. or on the back. It's so we're gonna wide. have to choose the best place because yeah. we can't come here. You see, the aluminium plate can't come out here because of this wall. Yeah. So we can't catch this over here. No. So probably maybe we're gonna have to put it more to the front and bring it to the back. Yeah, we're see. gonna have to climb through the back. Maybe. So I think that climbing through the back will be the option. We still have to study this, unless we could, bring this a bit bring longer. It, we could bring it to the back, no problem. Let's see. see yeah. Yes, see. yeah, much better. There. This will be on the, on the aluminum plate, these little heads. A little bit more here. And then once you raise it up, you rotate it this way, rotate it and, and then it you fold it yeah. into, the, into the trunk a bit, yeah. So look at that. Now that should be much easier to climb on top, I mean. Because right now it's not easy. So this is still going to stay like, this is still going to stay like that. Yeah, just for you guys to see. So it has an inclination and much easier to get yeah. on top instead of jumping. So this yeah. is our, uh, next one of the, app, yes, next project upgrade. Next um, project the before we put the, um, the bull bars and everything yeah. else we'll have to do this we'll first do this. or else we're going to accumulate too many projects uh, and then we'll get into the bull bar in the front the tailgate, the tailgate dampers, dampers. The dampers and we'll leave the and rear the, bumper for the, the rear bumper we'll leave it for, for lost, for lost yeah. yes okay so this has a bit of designing to do still yeah. <laughs> quite a bit of work but it will be interesting it will I forgot to say that it also comes with a, a strip. Although we're gonna have to put like some rubber around yeah. the stairs. We're gonna have to work a bit on that. And it comes with all these accessories. So they give you these metric rivets if you wanna like make holes or I don't know why they give this. It is for people that want to drill holes, hey. Well, but the, these these are where the bolts are. It comes so with the counts. accessories as well for the, the stairs. It's I think so. It's quite it's strong it's already. Yeah. yeah, you don't have to make. I don't okay. believe that you have to make holes. All you have to do is design this the bolts and size. manufacture the bolts. a part for this. That's yes. where you got to work. Okay. In the bolts line. Okie dokie. Yes. So, preparing here the panel boxes. It's going to have four buttons. So I'm going to have a start. This is going to be our stop. Doesn't matter if it's green. Uh, because as long as it's got laboring over here and laboring on the top it doesn't really matter what color it is um, they didn't have in red I only had in yellow but yellow I had to use for the reset um, and also I only have one I need three so I ordered them they're going to see if they can get it in red so for now as long as I use laboring Label here, label there, um, there won't be a problem. And then I'm going to use a selector, which is not going to be this one, it's going to be these ones here. And then I'm going to use uh, an emergency button, which you also have to have. Uh, not this one, but these ones right here. So these aren't, these are just momentary push buttons, see, they don't really stay inside. I need one that stays inside um, so that guarantees me that it stops with safety and still going to put the emergency button as well okay so this is to stop any action the machine does and when you release it it cannot advance by itself um, the stop button is just to stop a cycle okay not an emergency button but I prefer to use these ones because they really stop okay 
so everything's the cycle stops but it won't like even if they press the start won't exit it's like a emergency but it's not quite an emergency because stops the cycle just doesn't let it go into a new cycle but the table will still turn but the press won't come down so then they had to release it okay and then press the start but the table will still go around okay um emergency button everything stops the table the press every action the machine does then you voluntarily have to go and press the start button again so yes this is uh, my daily job electronics and uh, mechanical and everything <laughs> so um then i'm going to teach you guys just a simple thing today will be how to measure a switch contact and normally open and a closed okay then i'll also be teaching you so another three things i need three more things <laughs> and then that's it for today okay and pass to the next video then okay so yes let's go okie dokie so uh today we can talk about switches a normally closed and a normally open Norm normally closed comes always with the letter n c okay and normally open n o but when it doesn't have any letter the only thing you can do you take a multimeter and um, put it in resistor mode, which is right here in ohms. Okay. Some do a beep, some multimeters, others don't. But if you don't have a beep, okay, because sometimes you have to put it in diode mode, which then will give you false reading sometimes, um, depending how the electric circuit is. So what happens is when it is op closed because this is a normally closed that's we see it will show you something like this so that means that the circuit is closed okay because that's normally closed and when you press for example the emergency button it will open the circuits okay so now it's closed and you press the emergency and it opens the circuits so that's how you measure if a switch is working or if it's normally closed or open if we go to the open it's just the reverse so now it will be normally open and when you press the button it will go on to closed mode okay there you go circuit is closed so that's very easy but sometimes people have difficulties with that if it's a switch selector it's the same so the only thing that matters is the switches so doesn't matter what type of button it is. Some will, you can even put an open and a closed next to each other. You see? And that one just goes left to right, opens and closed. So it's all the same thing. You can even mount some switches on top of the others, but that depends on, on your circuits. So today we added this structure, this whole structure right here. Because uh, the client wants a support for a beam over here on the table um, So we had to do this and now it's already all painted up. That gave a lot of work we had to bring the These steel tubes all the way Across so this is a five millimeter thick wall steel tube very strong and we made this barrier with the U-type steel beam and some steel plates so now he can adapt whatever he wants right here on the front so that's done we also tested all the electronic parts which we had some hassles that's why i see a lot of wires and everything going on yeah <laughs> that's a mess we had to figure out um, if everything was working well all went well and um electric oil pump okay so it's a three phase so sometimes it comes with the arrow to show you which direction it's going sometimes it doesn't um i also can't guarantee it's always to the right the pumps uh, the pens not always so if you aren't sure you have to know um which side it has to turn see by the make or the model something so always have like a 
steel plate if it doesn't try to figure out from the past if it's a used one if it's new it comes with the sheet but if it's a used one try to figure out if someone knows what side they used to go or else it won't work well hey if no, it's, it's working on the wrong direction it won't, won't work pump, well no, it won't pump, 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 pump uh, with enough pressure so to change the 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 rotation of the motor all you have to do is change a face so you'll have three phases okay and a neutral and earth okay so all you have to do is either you change it on the plug if you don't know or just on the motor direct but sometimes it's easier to do it on the plug you just swap, swap two there are three phases one neutral one earth you swap any two phases any two phases of the three you can swap and it will change direction okay um and yeah so the machine is basically done now we have to put the plates on top and um test the machine tomorrow to see if everything else is working tomorrow yeah we can finish it yeah then i'll also talk on the next video about the inverter okay and the uh, speed regulator uh, whoever's interested i'll also talk about i can talk about pressure switches yeah so pressure switch is just a switch normally open or normally closed which normally has uh, this one both. this is a pneumatic one that's a normally open okay which will have a little screw on the top once you take the sleeve out so that you can adjust some already come with a knob outside which are easier um for example this hydraulic one right here okay it comes with a, a screw up there you see regulate. and uh, you can that is to regulate when you want the switch, switch or the pressure on, switch to come it. on okay what um at what pressure you want it to come on and you also have your pressure regulation right here and then each time you change the pressure okay the force pressure that you're going to apply when the press close you have to adjust your pressure switch okay and basically it's just a contact okay that's all it has and nothing else because then it just works with the pressure of the f air or fluid so yes you can also measure the pressure switches to see when it's coming on and off okay um just by the same method as a button okay exactly the same thing so we'll talk about the inverter we'll talk about heating okay and we'll talk about um what else then we'll get into Frequency. the mo more complicated stuff if you guys want to know but we can speak then about um buttons we've yeah. talked about then we can speak about contactors we can speak about timers and these simple things that people normally use okay okay so i hope you all enjoyed that video um more to come on the next one uh, so we're going to check out uh, a race um rally so that's going to be on the next video as well and um if you like this content just say something and i'll keep on doing it <laughs> and um oh Thank you all very much. We just reached 3,000 subscribers. Wow. Amazing. Let's go. Keep on going. <laughs> Thank you all for all your support. God bless you all and have a beautiful day. Amen. Let's go.